Okay, so uh, I kind of wanted to show the example that uh, I believe Storyline Articulate uh, posted. This is Director of Content, E-Learning Heroes. Here's an, it says Examples, and this is our 508 compliant demo. And uh, it doesn't do anything. So I don't know if this is just old content. Uh, I kind of did another search and I actually found uh, the course that they had uploaded and I got that course and I uh, you know opened it with storyline and we, we're just gonna kind of go through and just kind of look at some of the elements that they've included in here. Uh, we've got these uh, markers. This is like a, um, a hot spot that when you click on it, it brings up some little uh, windows that you can uh, read the text in. Uh, let's see what other elements we have on the page. We've got a text field, just regular old text field, text box. Uh, we've got this avatar, and let's take a look and see what we're doing with the accessibility te text. So this is a good thing. The character one has not uh, had alternative text associated with it. So because it's just kind of a decorative element, the screen reader is just going to skip right over it. Um, we've got some navigation tips. Press Alt plus right arrow. Let's look at this. Press Alt plus right arrow, Alt plus left arrow to move to the next or previous screen at any time. Tab key to move through the slide and enter key to activate a feature and so this is this is good that there are some instructions on how to use this thing on slides with area audio narration a button in the upper right contains narration notes if you don't want to see the notes button click the button at the right to turn it off or on for the rest of the course and that's this button here that um, sets the notes on feature to false okay that's a um, that's a variable Just kind of looking at anything else that's in an element in this uh, course. Let's look at the player real quick. We don't have the standard slide next and previous buttons. Those are turned off. And then if we go down to the bottom here in this activities panel, we'll see that Alt plus right and Control plus left <laughs> to go to the slide. This is kind of weird because you're basically um, going against what people are used to doing in a screen reader. I think for me personally, um, see and I don't know also what this is going to mean for the skip navigation if this thing is still turned on, but for, for me um, seeing that they've kind of broken the pattern of what people expect, it would be better if they just limited it, in, in my opinion, limited it to just the tab key and just kept it simple instead of trying to um, emulate JAWS using these keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so on the next slide we've got some uh, some navigation buttons, I suppose, built onto the slide instead of the player shell itself. Uh, we've got some of these markers, some text items, and here's Brian, our character one. Um, let's see what else is accessible on this slide, or the, what else has alt text. And our notes, our marker buttons, the previous and next, the, those buttons again. So. Let me see if I can actually select those, because I'm not able to select it, uh, just, but maybe they're like embedded in the background or something like that. 
and then we've got uh, some audio reading this stuff. We've got a built-in video. It looks like they've got some uh, open captioning kind of burned into the video, and then we've, this is going to be that um, storyline built-in player. Uh, we've got some hotspots that whenever you click on it, it's going to, um, what's it going to do when you click on it? It's going to show some uh, slide layers that have some uh, additional content. Uh, then we've got a uh, multiple choice quiz. Let's see what our tab order looks like. No alternative text for any of these things here, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if that's a hindrance or not. Then we've got a, a type in short answer text and with a correct and incorrect answer. There's some feedback for correct and incorrect down here at the bottom whenever you do this uh, interaction. And then we've got our results slide. So I just published it to um, the Storyline 360 review, um, what do you call it, review portal or whatever. Um, here's our 508 sample, and so I've already got it turned on. It, I th it's just called review, so this is a thing that Storyline has where you can share stuff with your uh, team members or whatever and um, you know figure out what they want you to change, what they don't want you to change, and you can put comments in, so I'm going to close that for now. Uh, I found it marginally useful. Okay, so let me um, turn on NVDA. Logitech USB headset, dialog, slider 74, normal curse 500 and eight. Okay, so uh, like I do a lot of the time, I just want to see what happens if I just do the whole thing and nothing. So you tab. Play button. Tab. Notes button. Navigation tips. Press Alt plus right arrow or Alt plus left arrow to move to the next or previous screen anytime. Use the tab key to tab through the slide and the enter key to activate a feature. Turn off notes button. Text box 2 button. Skip navigation. Play button. Seek bar slider 1. Replay button. Okay, so something's going on with this player. Um, Unknown it's, cursor. It's Normal kind of, cursor. Okay, it's kind of hosed down there at the bottom, and I, I don't know why, but, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, let's do what it says. Let's try Alt and left arrow to go to the next slide. And I'm doing it, and nothing's happening. Let's try control and right arrow and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to use the... Unknown cursor. Well. Normal cursor. Grouping. Net. Pre turn text box 2 button. Yeah, see that doesn't even tell me that that's the next slide, but I'm going to activate it because I'm just I'm just looking at everything. Five hundred and eight sample normal cursor. What goes into a marketing plan? And I'm just tabbing Section. through. Notes button. Okay, so if I want to see or hear the notes, what am I doing? I hit enter. And there's no indicator of anything. Screen three section. So I'm just tabbing. The journal frames business metrics identifies four crucial items that any marketing plan should include. Use the buttons shown here to learn more. Section. Okay. Tab again. Marker button distribution button. Okay. Tab again. Marker button promotion button. Tab again. Marker button pricing button. Okay, tab again. Marker button, product mix button. And let's just see what product mix does. Well, actually, let me just keep tabbing through to see what else we hit, and then I'll go back to that. Text box 2 button. Text box 2 button. Skip navigation. Play button. Seek bar slider 1. Replay button. Grouping. What? No 
notes button marker button distribution marker 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 button product mix button okay so we've got something here that didn't get read out so select each button to learn four crucial factors of a successful marketing plan and then we had our navigation we had our navigation buttons that uh, aren't really labeled with anything and then we've got like this um, navigation thing down at the bottom that apparently like that skip navigation would probably it, it comes after these buttons Unknown cursor. And, Normal cursor. and before this um, slider thing down at the bottom that doesn't really work so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter because I got focus on that little shopping cart thing and you know I can't even remember what it is honestly so I'm just gonna but I see it so I'm gonna click on it okay and there's no indicator that anything happened Product mix section. Okay, tab, tab. Product mix is your total composite of all products you offer. Often, multiple products in your mix can be marketed together for greater sales yields. Okay. Image of grocery products on display. PNG graphic. Okay, so there's some text for that graphic. So that was a nice thought that they put in there. So let's go to the next item. Text box two button. Text box okay. two button. 508 sample doing your home notes button there's our notes again in this there we video, go you'll learn about the okay icon dot png button okay i'm gonna this it doesn't tell me that it's a video it just says play so i'm gonna play it hi there my name is david brooks we all know that a business won't make money unless it sells goods or services that customers actually want this is why it is crucial that you research your market before crafting volume mixer speakers yeah. Logitech USB headset dialogue okay I had to turn that guy off because he's annoying um, what happens if I hit an arrow key arrow right 73 no wait let me go back over here unknown cursor 500 unknown cursor normal cursor unknown cursor Normal cursor. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen to this guy again. So. Normal cursor. Normal cursor. Volume mixer speakers. Logitech U. 508 Hi, sample David review. Brooks. 360 Mozilla Firefox. Won't make money unless it sells goods or services that customers actually want. This is why it is crucial that you research your Space. market before Space. crafting a marketing plan. Market research allows you to identify. Okay, uh, I just tried all the arrow keys and every review, three hundred and sixty mods, and I it's not doing anything with this video player. So basically, the guy's just reading it, and you know, yeah, that doesn't really work that well. Five hundred and eight sample, normal cursor, and graphic, unknown cursor. Okay. Next slide button. Okay, now I can go to this next slide. Sample, normal okay. cursor. Okay, so I'm going to tab through all this stuff and see where we get. SWOT analysis section. Notes. Click each quadrant. Okay, now we've text. completely bypassed all of these hot spots. Grouping. And SWOT analysis. So if instead of some like marketing stuff, this uh, what do you call it? The these hot spots that we looked out. See if I hover over it. And I click on it, then it opens this little doohickey here. Um, Weaknesses button. Five hundred and eight. However, you three hundred. However, uh, you can't get at it using the tab key. So if this was something important, uh, our screen reader user would uh, not be able to access that information. So that Normal is. Cursor. So that is by definition not accessible. Unknown cursor button. Okay. Now this is where the rubber hits the road with these compliance courses and with things where there's a consequence for someone not being able to complete one of these quizzes. Uh, let's tab through and just see what information we're presented with and then we'll try and do whatever the test is. Quiz. Calculating your forecast section. Okay, it tells us it's a quiz. That's good. Notes button. Here's our notes button. Okay, it's a quiz. I'd better read it. Screen 5 section. Now let's check your knowledge. Choose the best answer. Okay. Section. Okay, that's one of the best ways to ensure a more accurate forecast is to Okay. Section. So that's that's ridiculous. The notes thing doesn't really like tell me anything. It says quiz, you know, like and I've got to like 
click on all this stuff to get the information for the quiz. If you want to give me instructions on how to take the quiz, just put the information flat on the slide so it's in the regular tab order. And then I've got this question here, which isn't really that uh, great just looking at it, and it's uh, kind of confusing when I listen to it. So uh, next are our items, supposedly. Let's see. Text box two radio button not checked one of three. Okay. Tab again. Text box two radio button not checked two of three. I'm not getting uh, <laughs> what my choices are for the quiz. So if my job is writing on this quiz, then I'm going to have to go get someone to read this to me and do the test for me. And that's uh, not great. Text box two radio button not checked three of three. Okay, that's the mid button. I'm not going to submit. Navigation. Okay. Play button. Re grouping. Okay. One. Text box two radio button not checked one of three. Okay, I'm going to check this. Prepare a series of monthly plans instead of a single annual prediction radio button checked one of three. Okay. Text box. Estimate what the market will buy and base your plan on 75. Okay, so I've got these check boxes that. Anybody that knows what a checkbox is, is uh, it, you can select more than one at a time. Uh, this is acting like a radio button, which a radio button in a group you can only select one at a time. So that's not good uh, nomenclature right there. You're saying that something is going to behave in a certain way. You're going to say it's going to behave like a checkbox always behaves, and then it's behaving like a radio button. And then the screaming thing to me, the, the like biggest problem with the accessibility in this quiz is I'm having to select the item before I know what the choice actually is. Text box to rate. Base your prediction on why who are top competitors average annual sales. Radio okay. button check three of three. Yeah, this is not really awesome. Let's submit it and see what Good happens. Button. Incorrect section. Okay, so it actually read the status when it came up, uh, just on its own. What happens when I tab it? You did not select the correct response. That maps section. Will, yes, that's what you just said. Okay. Continue button. Continue. Five hundred and eight sample. Okay. Quiz. Anticipating cash flow section. Notes button. Screen six section. Fill in the blank with the correct word. Cash flow is the movement of money into and out of your business. Sometimes people refer to cash flow as inflows and type your text here and it has autocomplete blank. Okay, well, let's type something in. W. I don't even know if this is correct or not, but I just typed in alpha. Submit button. Submit. Incorrect section. <laughs> Inflows and outflows. So um, I don't know that for anybody these like fill in the blank things are um, really that great. The best fill in the blank assessments are ones that have uh, all the alternate answers that are still considered to be correct. And just like penalizing someone for um, instead of saying outflow, saying outflows, you know, doing stuff like that is kind of. Uh, counterproductive for learning if you ask me sorry continue button 508 sample okay this is good we're gonna find out normal uh, cursor okay we're gonna find out uh, how we did but here are your quiz results unfortunately you didn't pass the quiz <laughs> have to find out your score graphic I like how they kind of soften the blow a little normal bit cursor. normal cursor okay I want to I'm going to show you something on this guy here. Unknown cursor. Normal cursor. Unknown cursor. Okay. Unknown cursor. Hang unknown on. Unknown cursor. Normal cursor. Unknown cursor. Norm. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's our failure. And what they've done here on this results slide, um, they've they've uh, embedded some instructions in this graphic. See. Failure character one, success character one. So they put the message that they wanted the thing to read instead of describing, you know, a man in a blue shirt uh, strokes his chin uh, pensively or whatever. 
um, it's saying that I didn't pass the quiz. And so that's that's a pretty, you know, good like off-label use of some of these graphics, I think. So let's just keep going on here. Let me turn back uh, NVIDIA. Volume mixer speakers. Mute speakers toolbar. Bot. Zero. Tab again to find out the passing score. Zero percent section. Tab again to find out the passing score. Eighty percent section. Skip navigation. Play button. Seek bar Regrouping. Here are your quiz results. Unfortunately, you didn't pass the quiz. Tap to find out your score. Zero percent section. Tab again to find out the passing score. Eighty percent section. Skip navigation. Play button. Okay. Edit cursor. Normal cursor. So, um, this is like what they gave us, you know, as an example of how to do accessible articulate storyline. It looks like they put some effort into it and they did some things that are actually kind of smart but on the whole this thing is really like still lacking a little bit so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna kind of fix up my own version of this thing using um, what am I gonna be using uh, storyline <laughs> yeah and I'm just gonna try and fix some of the stuff one thing that I did want to mention and I forgot to is when we went through those those that array of check boxes slash radio buttons, um, the interaction is actually um, a pick one interaction. It wasn't uh, when you look at the question slides that you're able to insert here. Um, let's see, slides, when you do throw in a graded question slide, uh, you can choose between. multiple choice or um, true and false. And you've got all these other uh, uh, scored quiz things that uh, probably just aren't really going to work with JAWS. I've tried a lot of them and it just doesn't work with a screen reader. So with, instead of using this multiple choice, which is, you know, this is what most people are going to reach for when they're building an assessment is this multiple choice and I think I showed in previous videos how uh, this array of radio buttons kind of reads out uh, erroneous um, navigation instructions it says that if you want to scroll through them that you can use the arrow keys and that doesn't work and it doesn't do anything and so to me it kind of renders the entire uh, uh, interaction kind of inaccessible. So I found in these uh, freeform questions here and they're scored so that works but this is one called pick one and um, you can kind of customize it and that's what they did it's got like the check boxes and so basically uh, I'll, I'll show you in another video. I'm gonna um, this video that we're doing now, this is going to be posted like on the problems page on the website, and then uh, I'll post the other one on like the solutions page on the website. So anyway, thanks for watching this, and you know, I mean, I'm glad that Storyline articulate that people are, you know, they're trying to make this stuff accessible. It's just there's so many moving parts, and uh, they just haven't gotten it perfect yet. So I mean, there are things that you can do to kind of make it better. And I think the main thing is just like setting the expectations for your users. And sometimes it's hard to like uh, stop the momentum of a project and like have um, all the content written that you needed to um, provide adequate uh, instructions to your users. So when they're tabbing through using the screen reader that they can kind of figure out what's going on. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Uh, thank you.